How to use Google Tasks as project management. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through on how to use Google Tasks as project management. Now, this will be especially useful for you if you deal with emails a lot daily because fun fact, Google Tasks, like aside from them having their own website, it it's actually available from Gmail. So you can open your tasks right away from Gmail and you can start writing tasks like like a meeting or for example and for etc and etc so um you can have all of your emails presented to you and you can convert them to more actionable tasks in the google tasks button over here moreover you can also look at your calendar so for example you see here the calendar is already built into gmail so for the workflow will be fluid so for example you have an email that you want to respond to and after you resp respond to that email you want to convert them to your activities right now to convert them to your activities maybe you can use like this my tasks um list over here and you can find like meeting or follow up or etc and in each of those meeting uh each of those tasks you can add date and time so let's say for example let's set it to today and i want to do it later in the day so like 6 p.m now once i've added a time context to it you can look at your calendar and find that is actually on the uh calendar over here wait yeah you can add it to calendar later on so there you go so that, that's how you can uh, do it all right so uh, let's jump into it now to make the Google tasks experience uh, better you can use task board now task board is a desktop app for you to make a board out of your task so now you see where this is going this is the classic Kanban board so to do that, just sign in Google. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and sign in to Google right now. All right, now I'm in and I've signed in to Google. Now, once we've logged into task board, you, we can see our tasks over here. It's already listed. And as you can see, you can add new list there. Now, I recommend you to set up your tasks from task board, but otherwise you can also do this on the on gmail over here but let's just go to task board now i want to make a kanban board right now aside from my task so let's say for example let's make a like a capture list so that you can capture your thoughts and etc and let's say let's let's make a kanban board not started in progress and done maybe and maybe you want to add a backlog for like the unfinished businesses. Okay, now we have added a Kanban board. We've added a capture list and we've added a backlog list. Now you can have, you can see these new lists on the tasks that we have over here. So for example, if we click my tasks here, you can uh, choose the list that we've just made. Now the idea is this: so you 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 look at you, you take a look at um, an email, right? Now you want to respond to these emails. Now, of course, you will see you'll uh, go to ca capture list first. Now the idea of capture list is that you capture everything that is inside your brain so that this is like a second brain for you in a way that you don't get to forget anything so for example you have like an idea to like walk your dog and for example this is just a, a capture a a dump like a memory dump a brain dump for you that you just um, will go back to after you're free uh, from your current task so that you can add a time context to it and actually do it so let's say for example oh I thought about well maybe I need to follow up on that project maybe and I want to like oh finish that video or I want to like do that um, task do that task or like um, write that uh, letter right 
Now, once you've added a brain dump and you've done like responding to today's emails, you can go back to your tasks and from the capture list over here, you can move, you can add time contacts to each. But for example, let's walk my dog at night, maybe if that's a thing. Now you can change, uh, you can move this to not started. There you go. And now once you've moved to not started, you can start from there and see a project management. So, uh, well, this will take some time to uh, sync over here. Now, as you can see, not started. There you go. Now, once you've done like assigning every uh, capture every brain dump that you have uh, to each of the Kanban board that we've made, we can see a bird's eye view of our life, right? Right away. So that is how you can manage yourself using Google Tasks and Taskboard on uh, Gmail. Now, what we want to do really is to make this a project management suite right now to do that of course we need calendar now why calendar because we can uh, have a more bird's eye view of our tasks right now so let's go ahead and uh, do this for project management so let's say for example you have a project now of course in every project, there must be a list of actionables, like smaller projects that you need to do. And you can do that by not start in progress and done. But the difference is when you've added like a, a project and you make it on your, and you, um, you move from your emails and you make an actionable from the emails that you've read to your captures list, you must have more information it's like who's involved and which division will be in charge of it you can actually do that by going to the task board so apart from uh, so uh, unlike managing yourself i think project management needs a bird's eye view so the workflow will be like this once you've responded your email and you added the actionables to your captures list go over to task board and do um, move it to the Kanban board. So let's say, for example, I have a meeting like today. You can add a date to the calendar, and you can add label. Now you can uh, you can add label using Premium, but as you can see, um, the label here is for the it's like Notions uh, drop down menu, I think. So you can you can categorize your tasks so you can be more productive because it's clear that way, right? So you can add, as you can see, an urgent uh, property, a car property, a replace uh, design ideas property. So that is very useful for you, I think. Now, once you've, we've added the details, like you add maybe a drive link or add a meeting link, a Google Meet link, I believe you can do that also. You can change it to not started. Uh, you can change it to not started in progress or done, right? Now, as you go through your day, you will see that uh, you will need to review each of these tasks that you have. Now, for example, now I, I recommend it to do that daily, like once a day you uh, update your task, maybe done, like put it to done, maybe put it to done. And maybe uh, if it's not done yet, go back, go make it to your backlog for you to review and go to backlog again if it's not done yet. Now, I recommend to start every day fresh so you can... Um, add capture and find it uh, and find the yesterday's task um, over here on the backlog. So um, I recommend you to make a workflow for every day. Like for example, um, the steps that you want to do every day. Like number one is to check your backlog. I recommend and f go uh, either go to in progress either move the list in the backlog to in progress or not started 
or if you don't have enough clarity just add cap and just put it back to capture for you to clarify everything so you have we will have no overdue tasks right now and then go to capture to again capture the activities that you need to do that day based off of the emails and then once you're done capturing everything go to task board clarify it and add links and informations that are necessary and just go ahead and move it to the Kanban board not start it in progress and done and you can start working uh, from there like you can finish the things that are in progress you can start doing whatever you have in the not started list and there you go that's how you uh, manage your project and tasks uh, using Google task now I think I think project management also needs a timeline. So that's why I think uh, in addition to Google Tasks, you will need another app that is more powerful to be able to create a timeline. Or maybe you can add that timeline to Google Keep so you can have every um, supporting documents and maybe you create your your timeline on Excel. You can put it on Keep so that you can have a way to access it easily from email again once again okay so that's all from me thank you good luck